Hello, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a compilation of the work that I've been putting into my van over the past couple weeks. So it's kind of a bunch of random stuff, but I'm pretty sure all the major projects with my van are completely done, so I'm excited to share that. In this video, I'll be spray painting my van, replacing some sheet metal on the side of the van, and jazzing up my desk with some art resin, doing a marbly design, and I'll give you a little bit of a tour of it at the end. So here I'm spray painting the side bumper of my van a nice blue. Unfortunately, I didn't even get to put this piece back onto the van because a large part of this video is fixing off a bunch of the rust and old metal that's on the bottom of the van. So I replaced this with sheet metal and the old piece didn't really conform to the size of the van anymore so I couldn't use it. Not a big deal to me, I didn't really put too much work into it anyways and it was kind of falling apart to be honest. So the next step, I didn't really record too much just because I came across many hurdles while I was doing it and it's just hard to document when you're making so many mistakes. There is definitely a few other mistakes that I make in this video, but I kind of just had to concentrate while working on this part of the van. But after getting the sheet metal in place and firmly attached, a little bit more fun was to be had with doing a little bit of a layer of Bondo. So this is an auto body filler that is kind of similar to resin where you just mix the part A with a hardener and it dries super fast, 20 minutes and it's rock hard. And after a quick sanding, I was prepping it to spray paint. So I decided to go halfway down the van with matte black paint. I thought this would be a really good color to cover up all the imperfections. I'm not painting my entire van, more like just a band-aid area of where the operation took place. And I don't know if anyone noticed this right away, but this was 100% the wrong tape to use. This red tape peeled off like crazy right onto the van. So I had to raise it up a little bit more, which actually looked a little bit better. So I'm kind of glad I had to do that. But yeah, that was a dumb mistake and use masking tape right away. And this is how it turned out. I think it's kind of seamless. Honestly, I'm just happy that it's over with and I get to continue with more fun parts of the van. Oh, and while working, I had a pretty exciting encounter with a little weasel. It actually ran right at me and kind of scared me for a bit, but wow, look at this. This is basically like planet Earth. I hardly ever see weasels. They're so cute and fast. So jumping right into it, I get to start working on the best part of decorating my van. My desk is the main area that I spend most of my time, and I got really excited that I could make it so different and creative and clean and nice and just like, I love resin, so I'm so glad I got to incorporate it. So for the effect, I really wanted to keep it as white as possible, so it would be a good area to do photography on sometimes, but I also wanted to give it like accent and fun with some blue marble effects, some copper and gold alcohol ink and i'm really happy with how it turned out it did take an extra layer after because as you can see i was working outside which was an interesting decision because a lot of bugs flew into it got stuck in it and i had to take them out and it was kind of disgusting and required an extra coat at the end but i'm really happy with how shiny and how clean it looks and it just really completes the full homey feel of my van i really love doing this type of art just because it's so unpredictable and colorful and it's just genuinely fun and i feel like i'm just painting as a kid again but i'm actually really allergic to art resin and i break out with contact dermatitis and and always suffer for an extra few days after i use this stuff so i probably won't buy it for a while and this project was kind of to use up 
the rest of the resin that I have in store before it goes bad. So I tried to cover up as much as possible. I wore goggles and gloves and tried to let no skin show at all. Still didn't work out completely. My face is a little bit swollen today, but not a big deal. It just makes the time working on this project a little bit more special because it's kind of rare. So this is the van right when I got it before I had done anything to it. It still had a very baggy fabric ceiling. The roof vent was leaking and broken and just everything needed a little bit of a touch up. So I know my van is pretty old and I don't really know how long it'll last me, but working on the space really made me think of what are my favorite things that I want to surround myself with. What, do, what are things that I want to see every single day and what am I able to edit out of my life? So I want to give a more in-depth tour of everything that I actually keep in my van because a large portion of it is just for my small business, for packaging items, for photography, for doing art and making crafts and all that stuff. While working on my van, I've been reading Walden by Henry David Thoreau and it has a lot of great lessons about living simply and the benefits that can come from that. And there's one quote in particular that I wanted to read to you, which is, In proportion, as he simplifies his life, the laws of the universe will appear less complex, and solitude will not be solitude, nor poverty poverty, nor weakness weakness. If you have built castles in the air, your work will not be lost. That is where they should be. Now put the foundations under them. This is a really encouraging quote that I like to turn to because sometimes when you're doing something unconventional, it can feel very isolating and that maybe you're making a mistake or you're wasting time and it's just human nature to fear the uncertain. So as long as I have my principles and priorities in order, then I don't think I can go wrong. And that's what this quote means to me. And to christen my new space, I decided to get out my camper burner things and show you my kitchen setup to make some KD for lunch. I figure this is going to be the main way that I make most of my meals, so I gotta start getting used to it right now with something really simple. So I feel pretty prepared to go on an adventure anytime now. Currently I'm just waiting for libraries and gyms to open up so that my traveling will be a little bit easier and just for society to regain a little bit of normalcy. But I absolutely cannot wait. One other thing I wanted to share about the van is that it was owned by uh, musicians before this and I asked them to include a CD and they did, well a cassette, a couple cassettes and the CD, it's amazing. And I just wanted to share the beautiful sound quality of this radio because it's, it's exciting. It's so, uh, just wait. Hey. 